In a few weeks, students across the state will be taking the state of Texas assessments of academic readiness, also known as STAR exams. Many children are taking the exam for the first time. Here to share ways your student can navigate their nerves is school counselor at the Village School, Dana Sheridan. Dana, good morning. Thank you so much for your time this morning. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. This really is an important conversation for, for parents, but also for students and perhaps for them to have together. Absolutely. Yeah, it's important for them to get prepared and ready because that decreases some of the anxiety that comes along with taking those standardized assessments. And as we know, there is so much anxiety, stress associated with really any test, but there's a lot yeah. of pressure too. Yeah. How does one navigate this type of situation in a healthy way? Well, we were talking about it when we were growing up, you know, there's a anxiety, but now yeah. the pressure and stress is so much more for a lot of these kids. So being able to recognize first, a lot of students will exhibit, you know, psychosomatic symptoms like the tummy aches and the mm. headaches and the things like that. Yeah, yeah, when they aren't really recognizing that that is anxiety, you know, so they're trying to get out and go to the nurse's office and things like that. So having those conversations, being able to identify what parts of your body that that's being affected. Mm -hmm. So then you can say, okay, not today, tummy, like I got yeah. this. I can handle this. You know, I do this every year for state assessments. Mm -hmm. uh, preparing for this time of year, knowing that it is going to be yeah. uh, stressful, there's mm -hmm. going to be a lot of anxiety. Is there, are there things uh, parents and students can do together to prepare? Yes. So I think communication and working as a team, you know, with the school staff, parents, the students just being able to have some of those strategies, those tools on their tool belt to mm -hmm. be able to navigate it. So at the Village School, we have self-regulation zones where kids can go if they need kind of a little bit of a break, working alongside the school to make sure that you have certain accommodations if you need those, but just being prepared and ready to do that, having a healthy breakfast, mm -hmm. sleeping well the night before. Rest, right? Yes, yeah, getting into rest. that routine of what you need to do to be on your game the day of um, the big one. Yeah. <laughs> so. And we know a little anxiety, a little stress uh, yeah. might be healthy, right? Yeah, it, it keeps you on your toes, it keeps you quick, yes. uh, alert. At what point do you have to or should you have a conversation with a professional if you identify that this stress, this anxiety is too much for my child? I think when it's starting to impact, you know, your daily life, your daily functioning. So anxiety is healthy. Everybody should have a little bit of anxiety because that gets you going. Um, but when you're shutting down and you're unable to answer those questions, if you're getting stuck, you know, or you're just having a meltdown or things like that, that's when you need some more tools from, from a professional. Um, and that's when we would outsource um, as a school counselor. We'd work with them and try to give them some strategies, but if that's not enough, yeah. that's when we would recommend outside support. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, right? Absolutely not. Eradicating yes. these stigmas of asking for help, reaching out for help, that's what these conversations are about. Yes, especially when you're young. I yeah. mean, you need all these strategies, you know, yeah. to learn how to healthy cope with it. We yeah. have a lot of adults who unfortunately have learned <laughs> Don't unhealthy know ways how, to cope. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then they're passing it off to their children, exactly. which Suck is up, a whole it. mess, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, no, th we really appreciate you stopping by and having these conversations with us because I think it's important. I think it's important to know, uh, to let people know that they're not alone, that this is normal, right? Yeah. Uh, we also said at the top of this conversation that uh, these exams are still a few weeks out. Mm -hmm. So now is really the time to start yes. preparing. Dedicate a, a certain amount of time each day to prepare for these, these, these tests. Yes, mindfulness helps a lot. I, I talk a lot with anxiety um, about the hand activity. So things you can't control on your hand and then the things outside of your hand. Are oh, talk to me about this. What is this? <laughs> so when you're working, especially with a kid, it's basically all these things are things that you can control within your hand. On your fingers. Yeah. So like for star testing, it could be, okay, you can choose what pencil you're going to do. You can choose what breakfast you're going to eat. You can choose all the things that you have direct control over. What are some things that you don't? Okay. Well, you, you don't have control over what day the test is. Yeah. You don't have the control. Questions the being questions asked. being asked. Yes. You don't have control of the location. You don't have control of this. So it really helps kids kind of grasp yeah. what they can control with that. And you can use this for anything. Test in, in, everything. Uh, in adulthood, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, this is really great. It's perspective. Yes. It's perspective. It's what you can control versus yes. what you can't, but it's how to prepare for the uncontrollable. And that's Going anxiety. into that, yeah. yeah. Anxiety is a feeling of loss of control. So if you can somehow especially get that strategy down to recognize, and okay, I do have some control over things. Not everything. Yeah. <laughs> 
but this is what I can directly control. Oh, I really like that. That's a great okay. suggestion. And again, it all starts with a conversation. We say here yes. during the eight o'clock hour that all problems, come, all solutions come from problems that we talk about, right? Yes. And those solutions are within those conversations. Yes. And so uh, I hope this was uh, helpful for, for people listening, for parents and students. Yes. Thank that you. This is so all much. normal and, and <laughs> getting prepared is what we need to do now. Yes. Dana, Absolutely. Thank, thank you so you. much for your time.